Man, I tell you, Cole, that Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First boat out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in, I'm gonna get some new powers, and then we're gonna come right back. Come on, man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? <laughs> Easy, Quo. When we get there, we're gonna be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bolts. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on? McGrath, we had a deal. This boat is leaving. Relax. I got time for this. Oh, it's McGrath! Just over here!
The beast had drained me, broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. The beast had just put itself back together. And now Empire City is dead. Our ship ran for it, fleeing south to New Marais. People kept their distance, whether from respect or fear. I don't know. Either way, I was alone. Others kept busy, acting out their routines as if it would make the world right again. But I knew better. I had been given powers to defeat the beast. I was strong. I was ready. I had fought it with everything I had. And it wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day I went to work. I helped Zeke create a device to focus my powers. Hell, he'd do anything to be friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. She also used her contacts to requisition a smaller boat. New Moray was in lockdown, wouldn't let anyone in. We were gonna have to sneak in through the swamp. I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked or straight up failed, but those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices.